Hi guys, Crystal here, SavvyBroker.com. And I want to talk to you guys today about what's in a real estate file. What the real estate attorney thinks in the real estate file, what the title company thinks is in the real estate file, and what really is in the real estate file is all different stories. The appraisers, everybody involved, the inspectors, you know, there's all these different aspects. I feel that the title company should have a master file that's, you know, that they keep like a third party unbiased file if the title company is unbiased, which in my experience oftentimes is, isn't the case, especially with a certain title company. Anyway, the realtors have, of course, the real estate listing. They're going to have notes about what's going on with the transaction. So if there's any inspections, they're going to have notes on that. Their odds are they're going to have a copy of it. And just bear with me to the end of this. They, they have these little notes on who called. They have notes on, you know, maybe what they thought of somebody or maybe, you know, pets or, that are dangerous or weird little things with the house or they, and they of course have the listing agreement and the disclosures they're supposed to have and, you know, the mold disclosure and the lead-based paint and, and all of their standard forms. But there's also all kinds of notes and phone numbers and reasons um, that sales fail. There's faxes with cover sheets with little notes about water testing or who's coming over to inspect or something they might have fixed or there's some little receipt. And all that stuff's in the real estate file. Okay. What's in the title company's file? Well, just the closing documents according to them but really the title company has notes about inspections on cover sheets they will have phone numbers they'll have information in their files that if you ever need it in a lawsuit will prove fraudulent activity everything added up together will prove situations and those things exist in that file so you walk in you look at that file they're there Okay. Those two things being said, here's the real deal. When you go to a lawsuit, the realtors say all they have is the listing and the disclosures, right? They pull out everything that's incriminating and the attorneys are like, yeah, hey, well, that's all that needs to be in there, right? Right. And the attorneys don't know. They're clueless. The real estate attorney, I'm sorry, I mean no disrespect, but I've seen several situations where they're in La La Land thinking that the title company don't know about inspections. The realtor doesn't have any anything in their file about an inspection. The buyer bought the inspection, right? So the buyer owns it and has a copy. Guess what? The seller probably has a copy. The title company probably has a copy. The realtor probably has a copy. Grandma or some aunt or some, you know, everybody. There's lots of people who have a copy of it. But when it comes down to a lawsuit, only the buyer has it because the buyer paid for it. And well, you know, the buyer's not going to give it to you. So it's, it's, a, it's a big deal and it comes down to your life. It comes down to your assets and everything that you've worked for. Little things like this. Because you might need to prove that there was an inspection that wasn't disclosed to you. You might need to prove that there was, for example, example, sorry, example, you might need to prove that there was a heater that was installed at a certain date and by who. Well, the realtor might have told you a certain date, but then there might be something in the file that says it was installed three years before that by somebody else. I've seen these things happen. But in real estate discovery during a lawsuit, of course, they clean it up the best they can. There's always something, though. You know, you, you can see a fax cover sheet. There's always something incriminating. And when you find it, you got them, right? No. The real estate attorney don't want to go for the realtor. They want to go for the seller. They want to go for the easy money. And, you know, they're scared of the realtor, really. They're scared of, you know, insurance. They're scared of franchises like Century 21, Cobble Banker, ERA. You know, the big ones that are all owned by the same company. Apollo Management or Rheology, if that still exists, because they recently went bankrupt with all your money. So, anyway, the buyer's file will have quite a bit of stuff but the real estate attorney doesn't necessarily ask for that they don't usually get like a previous buyer that was a sale fail they don't ask that and the real estate agent not the real estate agent the real estate attorney is so naive to these things they'll call the title company up and they'll ask for this information or they'll have their person that they have in the lawsuit call and ask them well the person in the lawsuit whether they're a real estate agent themselves or not 
calls the title company and the title company chooses sides. Right? They choose the side of the realtor that gives them the most business. And I don't care what they say, it's a fact in my book. And so they clean up their file, right? It happens. So, or they say, oh, I don't know nothing about a sale fail. Even though you can see in the MLS data that there was a sale fail. Apparently, they don't know nothing about it. So things mysteriously happen when it comes down to a lawsuit. So the best you can do is keep everything, all the records that you can in the beginning, ask more questions, know more before you sign. My advice is to never use a realtor because they're in insurance. Oh, and they're in insurance. We'll keep you in court so long that it doesn't matter how big the lie is, they'll get away with it. If you don't use a realtor, just use a real estate agent or you use, you know, somebody else you know, like a, a real estate attorney or title company or whatever, you actually have more protection because you don't have to fight the giant E&O insurance attorneys. You're fighting, if a, if a real estate agent lies to you, especially a non-franchise, and you sue them, they could lose everything. You know, they could lose their home and their business and, you know, you could really take them. They, they're going to be more, I just think they're going to be more honest, really, because they don't have this magical protection called E&O insurance and these giant attorneys. I'm not saying that real estate agents don't have E&O insurance. However, the E&O insurance companies like you to be a realtor. They're all kind of tied into affiliations and it's really not good for the real estate consumer. So the real estate industry is not geared to protect you. So you need to learn more about protecting yourself. And again, do not trust the real estate attorney to know what should be or what is in the real estate broker file, the listing file, the buyer's file, or the title company's file. And the appraisers, even the inspections. Everybody's got all of this stuff that you need to get your life back, and everybody's going to clam up. So find out before you buy, folks. Check out SavvyBroker.com.